Okay, so this is the slide where everything is going to fall into place and you're going to really understand the difference between in place versus blue green deployment. So this is this is going to be in the context of Elastic uh, Beanstalk and we're first going to look at immu an immutable uh, deployment methodology. So we know with immutable that uh, what happens is it replicates the auto scaling group with another EC2 instance and then it facilitates um, the the transition to the new production servers by switching over to this auto scaling group and then destroying the old one. Now this is funny because in our last slide we just saw that there was a blue green methodology called ELB blue green and this is exactly what it did. So why isn't this considered blue green and it's called in place and that has to do with the uh, ba the boundaries of the environment. And so the environment is defined here as being the elastic beanstalk uh, container. And so because the mechanism of our deploys inside the boundaries of this environment, it's considered in place because it's inside of the environment. So now looking at a blue-green deploy, um, for Elastic Beanstalk, this can only occur at the DNS um, at the DNS level. So it's Route 53 that's uh, facilitating it. But notice that it's outside of the environments. It's outside of it. It's going from a blue environment to a green environment. And so that is why it's called blue-green deploy. If it's all within the same environment, it can't be considered blue-green. So, you know, talking about doing a DNS, like, having the DNS level facilitate the, uh, the switch of, of, of servers or having the uh, load balancer. I was saying the load balancer was a lot better because with DNS, we could have an interruption in service, um, not because the servers aren't ready, but like the DNS uh, servers have to propagate the changes. And so there could be some unavailability for um, servers. So why would you still use this then if this one is better? And this has to do with where some of your external resources lie. So in the context of Elastic Beanstalk, it really has to do with your database. So if you are using in-place deployment, a lot of them are very destructive. So your, your database would be inside of the environment. It would be running on an EC2 instance, generally. And um, you know it would get terminated with the environment. And so you'd lose your data. So that would not be good whatsoever. So your database would have to sit outside of your environment, like on RDS. And so, you know, the, the better place to do it would generally be with a blue-green deploy with your database outside of it. So that is generally the reason why we use blue-green. Um, that doesn't mean you can't use RDS within place, but generally it's more for blue and green deploy. So hopefully that clears up a lot of stuff and you can understand and visualize those boundaries to see when something's in place and when something is not considered in place.